Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jade and this is the Sims 4 Amazon Challenge. So, you might be wondering kind of what's going on, who this is. Well, I've got a story to tell you. This dear is Lynn Powell and she is married to Leonard Powell and they live in a tiny house in Oasis Springs. They've been going through hard times and um, she is currently pregnant. She just found it out and when she told her wonderful husband, um, he threatened her that she had to get rid of the baby because he hates children and he's evil and he's never been the nicest person to her but she dealt with it because she thought she loved him so she left and um, she had heard from a friend who happened to used to be friends with um, Justice they worked together she heard that Justice and Aurora were going to basically move off uh, to an island on their own to get away from men and just like have children and raise them and have families but without men in their lives and <clears throat> she ended up finding their current address and she showed up at the house to ask them if she could join them so she's here now asking if maybe they could possibly let her stay with them because she no longer feels safe in her own home. So she's going to come upstairs because she's kind of looking around for someone right now to talk to. And she's going to talk to Aurora and probably Justice because she knows Justice's friend and tell them what's been going on in her life and kind of hope that maybe they will let her stay with them. By the way, this is Aurora's cute new hairstyle that I like for this outfit. I think it looks really good on her. It gave a couple people a little bit of makeover. But she's going to come upstairs and just um look for help because she definitely needs it. <sighs> So she's introduced herself to Aurora. This house is so cute. I didn't. I never noticed that silly plate. Oh my gosh! I wonder which child did that plate. So she's just kind of trying to be funny, but it's a little harder now. She's really, really focused because she knows that she needs this. Um, and a little bit about Lynn is that she's gloomy and non-committal because of the problems she's had with her relationship with her husband. But she's also very intelligent. And she is an outdoor enthusiast. She's always loved the outdoors and she's always wanted to pursue a career in them. But she never has gotten to because her husband wants her to be completely reliant on him basically and just stay at home even though he doesn't even want her to have kids oh. it's it's interesting but so we're just gonna talk to her a little bit just you know be like hey and she's gonna be like hi yeah what you doing in my house who are you so she's explaining that she heard from a friend that aurora basically has a group of people where they can live without men ruling their lives and she was hoping that possibly she could join them because she can no longer stand staying with her husband who treats her very horribly and she's gonna kind of explain all the stuff her husband does to her and how hard it's been on her and now she found out she's pregnant and she's worried about stress for the baby and he doesn't want her to have it and she doesn't know what she should do so this was kind of the 
only place she could think to go to because she doesn't have any family. They all passed away from basically a lot of different horrible events, which is also why she's gloomy. She has not had an easy life. It's actually been very, very hard on her. And she kind of really needs someone. Oh, see, like, she was kind of telling her about her life and it actually made Aurora cry. Like, it's not... She has not had it easy. And she definitely kind of needs a break from everything that's been happening to her. Oh, I think Aurora actually just said yes. Because she was just really excited there for a moment. So I'm thinking Aurora is going to say yes, but she wants to, like, talk to everyone else and see what they think about it. And she also wants to get to know Lynn a little bit more. You kind of want to trust someone if they're going to be moving into your house. And it's really, really late at night. So I think she can tell that Lynn really needs this because she literally knocked at the door at, like, 10 o'clock at night. And another part... Which you can't see, but, um, Leonard, wait, yeah, Leonard, yeah, I was right. He is a little bit physically abusive towards his wife when he's drinking, and tonight when she told him she was pregnant, he actually shoved her, and that really, really scared her because, um, if you get shoved into... Anything when you're pregnant, like a corner, you can miscarry very easily. So she kind of just needed to leave at that moment. Um, it was sort of a very dangerous... It was a very dangerous situation for her to be in. I think we're going to have them come and sit and chat over here and just talk a little bit more. And then maybe a little bit later we'll introduce ourselves to justice. But I'm hoping that everyone else is going to bed. And this means, though, that I will have to be expanding the house, which will actually be easy as of right now because we have this area with no roof. And then I believe we have another one, too, to be honest, somewhere. And then we have all of this area, which can also probably be, like, two more bedrooms. So we have a lot of room for people to move in in the future. We learned that Aurora is also a genius, which is really awesome. So I bet they're going to get along really well, honestly. But uh, they're going to go sit down and honestly just get to know each other a little bit better. You should really be in bed, Diana. Honestly. Oh, I gave the toddlers makeovers too. I could show you them. Hang on. Let me show you. So. Oh, she's crying. This is Hesta. She's so freaking cute. And then Diana is over here in this corner not being quite as cute but she's cute <laughs> i love them oh guys go sit and chat i thought that would be cute she's actually really really tired and i think she's just going to nap on the couch aurora noticed how tired she was and she's like love just go go lay down i'll talk to everyone else about it and just uh figure out what we should do so she's gonna go nap and i'm gonna go switch back to Aurora's household. So I will be right back. <laughs> All right, everyone, we are back, and it looks like Lynn actually made cupcakes, which is super cool. I'm, I'm a big fan of that. But um, Holly's here, and she's just going to introduce herself to Lynn because she saw that Lynn was sitting downstairs and she has no idea who she is. But she has heard that Aurora was talking to someone, so she thought she'd come introduce herself. And I think Aurora is coming to hang out as well. There she is. So we're just going to talk some more. Um, did we just give her something? Did we give her something? What just happened? She just gave Lynn something. <gasps> oh, stop Verizon texting me. It looks like, I feel like we honestly just accepted Lynn to moving into our house. I feel like that is what just happened. Because um, then we thought about our home as well. So I think that we are um, going to let Lynn move in. Of course, we'd like her to meet everyone else. But we definitely feel like Lynn should be moving in because she's experienced a lot of horrible things in her life. 
And she definitely deserves something good. So, oh my gosh, you guys, they just hugged. I didn't have anything to do with that. They just hugged. Okay. We're going to invite her to move in if we can. How do we... I feel like we need a slightly better relationship, though, but maybe we can invite her to move in still. We're going to try because Aurora's definitely accepted her into the household. So, see, we already have inside jokes. Like, that That means that it's going very well. So, we're going to give her a heartfelt compliment. Because, like, she's gone through a lot. And we're going to, like, kind of talk to her about, like, relaxation and doing yoga. Just to make sure that her baby's healthy. Because she's had a very difficult night. So, we're going to talk to her about those things a little bit. And then... Um, we should debate about aliens a little bit just to kind of see how she feels about aliens because although Sasha has decided that she's more human than alien now, um, if Lynn ever finds out she's an alien, we don't really want her to like be terrified and run off, you know? We're going to give her some parenting tips with her baby just so that she kind of knows what to expect and all of that stuff and then we're going to ask her to move in oh i'm so happy you guys lynn really needed this oh this makes me really happy okay i'm excited i also think that having heard about the way her husband treats her um we might have to do something about that. I'm gonna have Justice come introduce herself to Lynn too in a sec, but we're gonna have her move in first. But I think we might have to uh, take a little bit of revenge out on uh, her husband here. So I think that's going to end up happening. We'll just have Lynn, like, maybe. Invite him over to reconcile and uh, say, hey, let's go swimming. <laughs> I would like to do the cow plants, but I'd have to have a move in, which is so annoying. I wish you could just like click on cow plant and click murder sim. Oh my god, I should see if there's um, a mod for that. Wouldn't that be awesome? How many sims do we have now, by the way? Two, six, seven. Uh oh. Okay, hang on. I gotta, apparently my MC command center needs to be updated because we should have our household size bigger. So we will figure that out in a sec. Um, let me just fix it. I guess I could come back once I fix it. Hmm. Sounds like a lot of work though. I'm looking up cow plant murder mod i honestly want to see if there is one i feel like there if there was we would see it we would have seen it by now but like wouldn't that be nice um uh da, da, da. it doesn't look like it there really should be one Alright, I'll come back when I fix everything. Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. So I added Lynn to my household, and then I was wondering why I couldn't do it before, and I had to change my household size to like 15, and then I looked in her uh, pregnancy. Um, guys, she's pregnant with three males and one female babies. No wonder she looks so big. So... I wanted to ask you guys what you thought about this because since males are very unimportant and having them would basically take up space I was wondering what you think we should do with them if you think we should just change it or if you think we should like put them up for adoption or do you think we should raise them have them take up space in our household and then sacrifice them later or do you think we should, like, let them just move out like we did with Kaysen? I don't know. Tell me what you think. And also tell me if you think we should end up actually 
sacrificing Kaysen. That's still an option, technically. I'm not sure how I feel about this, because that's a lot of kids, and I kind of don't want that many kids right now. I want to just add a lot more, like, adults, because we already have a lot of kids, you know, and we're going to have more, but, like, I don't know, man. You'll have to tell me what you think about this, because, like, that's a lot of kids. <laughs> so I'm just not sure how I feel about that. But, oh well. We gotta have Justice come and meet Lynn, actually, because she has not met her yet. Oh, does she know Lynn, actually? Maybe she does know Lynn. I didn't know that. That's interesting. So maybe Justice actually did personally know Lynn a little bit, because she hasn't talked to her yet. So maybe her coming here isn't as much as a surprise as I thought. Hmm. Interesting. We're just going to have them all talk a little bit. I want the relationship with Lynn to grow. Um, I want them just to basically get to know her. Because she is a new Amazon. She's going to be an important person. But this also means that we will have to introduce Lynn to some of our other customs. And I feel like the best way for us to do that is to um, sacrifice her husband for her. Because we all know she doesn't love him anymore. She realized what a horrible person he was. And, you know, maybe she wants a little bit of revenge. You know? Hmm. We cannot do it via cow plant, though, because they're still babies. So I was thinking... I was actually thinking I could just use MC Command Mod and just pretend that they killed him. Because I thought that would also kind of be an interesting thing to do. And then he wouldn't have to move in, but in the future when we have our cow plants, we could use the cow plants so we can gather the milk from them. But I feel like we do need a really fast sacrifice because, like, the goddess has been angry. So I think that Aurora is going to kind of just be like, hey, Lynn, pal, what if I told you that... We could make sure your husband gets what he deserves for everything he's done to you. Like, what if, uh, we make sure he can never hurt anyone else ever again? How would you feel about that? Lynn is still actually pretty angry with him for everything she's done. Oh, Let all those worries fade away from that relaxing advice. That is so sweet. Alright, I think, um, yeah, I think that we should be getting rid of him. It might be a little bit of a rash decision for Lynn. I'm not sure how she will feel about it later on but I think it's something important guys what would you think also about me instead of having the same thumbnail start like just doing new ones every part because I've thought about doing that again because I really do enjoy doing that or just like new ones when it's special maybe but that might be confusing I don't know tell me about that too I would like to because I like doing that but then sometimes I forget to take the thumbnails and it's hard Either way, I think we need to update the thumbnail. So I'll be doing that if I can. Did she call him? He'll be right over. Alright, good. Let's, um, have Aurora go wait for him. Because I don't think she'll have Lynn do this. Lynn probably deserves to get to do this. But she's definitely not ready to do it. Um, maybe in the future when we get rid of another guy we could have Lynn do it or she might totally not be in it anyways but let's go and see what we can do I actually don't know where it is that we do this um I know there's a way to do it though I just gotta figure it out where'd he go He's gonna see Lynn. Oh. So we're gonna bring him over. See? He is a jerk. But I'm pretty sure that's actually Aurora. But let's just try. Hmm. 
let's turn on testing cheats. I know there's a way to do this, I just don't know how yet. You know, I should probably figure that out. I thought it would just be in MC Command Center, but it's not for some reason. So, let's see. Maybe now that we have cheats on, we can just straight up kill him. I know, ah, I know you can delete active sims, but that's not what I want to do. Sorry, that was a fork. I have ramen noodles in front of me right now. <laughs> that was actually probably really loud for you guys. I'm very sorry. How do I kill him? I don't want to delete him. Um, I'm going to maybe try and look him up. I want, I know there's a way to kill Sims in this. I've seen people do it. I don't know what dresser is. Not what I need. Okay. Hang on. Let me just. Oh, wait. Will this, will this work? Am I? No, that's flag. How to kill Sims with MC Command Center? Um, cleaner. No, I don't want how to use it. I want manually killing Sims. Population. It's not in flags. Um, um, ooh, well, where the frick, okay, uh, there's a mod, but I know that you can with them, so you here, oh, what? MC Command Center now has to call all sims except- wait. Um, that's not what I need. This is not helping me. I know there's a way to do it! Little Simsy's done it before. I swear. She has. Well, this is annoying. I just want him to die. I know there's cheats for it, though. But I think he has to be in my active sim. I don't know. Let's search that up. Kill sim cheat. Because I've used it before if for, like, a machinima. Here, let me just move that so you don't have to hear the pork scraping the bowl. Because that's just loud. Or I would kill him in other ways, but it's just too difficult, and I don't want to. Like, I don't know how we would, honestly. This isn't, I want the cheats. Oh, here we go. Here's a cheat. You know what would be funny? I think it has to be my stupid selected sim, though. Hmm. Hang on. We got this. Alrighty, boy. Let's get rid of you. Let's do it. this way sims dot add oh and by the way if you guys know how to do it on unsick matter it'd be great if you could tell me so i don't have to do this in the future but it's a learning experience for all of us buff buff why is there two buffs is that supposed to be no i don't think so i think that's a mistake but if it doesn't work, I'll just add another buff, I guess. Death. Um. 
I don't know if this will work on a non elder sim. Let's try it. I'm going to copy it in case it doesn't work. Damn. Didn't work. Okay, then let's do... Let's do this one. Shalcution. Let me just make sure that's all right. So, yeah, see, it says buff, buff. So I think we have to do it this way. Death, electrocution, warning. It's not working, guys. I cannot kill the sim. I don't even know how long I've been recording for. And it's probably been a very long time. I just want to kill him. Why is it too much to ask? I have something else we can do, actually. Let's just work with me. Nothing likes me. There. Please die. <gasps> we did it! Guys, I'm so proud of us. <laughs> Whoops, no one cares. I think that that was the easier way to do it. Too bad I didn't think of it until um, after like 10 minutes of trying. I know there's a way to clean delete or kill sims though I feel like there is there has to be maybe I can activate it in my settings though so I'll look I love how like no one cares <laughs> he hates children guys he's a horrible person it's okay he deserved it and then I feel like nothing <laughs> is off to school I feel like we should What should we do? Should we just kind of go talk to the goddess after this then? Just be like, well, he died. We killed him for you. And then maybe, like, let's make an offering and that can be like his ashes we're going to make an offering for. I feel like that would be a good thing to do. Lynn's a little sad. She, you know, it's a lot different to talk about something and then to see it happen. I'm hoping she'll be able to get over it, though, because this definitely needed to happen. But, you guys, I'm going to end this part here because we've been going on for way too long. This is probably going to be a long part. But I have a lot of questions for you guys, so please leave all those down below, especially about Lynn's babies because, oh, my God, and then MC Command Center. But I'll mess with that for a little bit after this. But I'll see you all in my next video. Bye-bye!